Paolo Gabrielli had been given one last chance to address the court just before the judges uh, went to consider their verdict. And he said that he didn't consider himself guilty of any crime. He said that he'd taken these documents from the Pope's apartment and betrayed his trust in that way. But he said that he'd leaked them to the media out of what he called a visceral love of the Catholic Church and its spiritual leader, his master, the, the Pope. Nobody is really expecting him to go to jail, certainly not immediately. We understand he was under house arrest and we believe that he will be returning to his home nearby in the Vatican City. There will very likely be an appeal, but we haven't heard that yet from his defence counsel. And then the Vatican itself has no long-term penitentiary facility. If he was to serve time in jail, it would be in an Italian facility. But I have to say that nobody here in Rome expects it to come to that. He has asked for forgiveness from the Pope and it's thought very likely that the Pope would pardon him. Remember that the last Pope forgave the man who tried to assassinate him and it would seem that this Pope would quite likely consider it the right thing to do to pardon his uh, whistleblowing butler.